Hello and welcome back to Rustic Waters. I have been doing a reasonable amount of automation um, and expansion in here. Well, not expansion, but expansion on the storage and stuff. So let me talk you through what it is I've done. So um, underneath these things here, I'm using those item pipes. Um, these item pipes made with aluminium and adhesive and item extractors, which is just an item pipe and a copper gear. So relatively cheap. And underneath, uh, we'll swim down and have a quick look. I've got one of them leading from this chest um, into the controller and one of them leading from this chest into the controller. So if we just quickly pop out here, a little dark but you can sort of see them now i did have a single pipe now there's an extractor in there which needs a redstone signal and i did have a single pipe that connected them together and then went onto the controller um, i can just pop pop in here and get some air but i found that even though there's an extractor pipe there they will actually put items into other inventory. So basically, the item pipes don't have any real intelligence or control, you know. Um, so items from this chest was ending up over there and vice versa. So what I've got now is two separate lines, both of which run to the um, draw controller. And they are entering via different faces, one of them underneath, one of them up the side. Um, and theoretically, I suppose I could have one two three more pipes going in if i really need to and that's allowed me to automate some of the stuff so we've moved the um bonsai trees hoppers uh the yeah the hopping bonsai pots over here on the chain of um existing hoppers i replaced the meshes up there so those are all going going into there, and the items are flowing slowly into the system. So you can see there I've got six, 695 um, logs. Any moment now it should increase. There we go, 696. Uh, you can see the stuff flowing through. We're getting sand and all that sort of stuff. Um, now, I don't think I'm actively sieving at the moment. No, I'm not, because I've got this thing simply set to requires redstone, and I got rid of the lever. Basically, I, I can turn it on and off there. So, see, this is currently empty, and this is all we've got. So, basically, in case I need... Oops, did not mean to do that. Oh, it's a locked drawer as well, so there's now always... Oh, well, that doesn't hurt. Um, there's always going to be... Well, I've completely forgotten what I was trying to say. Um, yeah, I want to build up some, uh, some of the resources. Oh, that's where they all went. I want to build up some, uh, some of the resources, and that's the reason why I definitely don't want that there. Uh, where's the key? Let me... Unlock that. Oh, come on. I want I want to get rid of the torch. Okay, that's got rid of the torch. Lock it again. Pick up the gravel again, place it back, <laughs> come in here, grab the torches. Okay. All right, so I want to build up some of the supplies in case I need it for the crafting. Um, but if this was sieving, the stuff flows down into the chest, and then because it, because it goes to the draw controller, that's a rocket squid, because it goes to the draw controller, it will end up over here. Now, these are not drawers. These are oak trims, which are slightly cheaper than drawers. I mean, they require treated wood slabs. 
so that it's not so it isn't using full the full uh, treated blocks so it's slightly cheaper cheaper and what oak trim allows you to do is basically connect over a distance so because we've got a solid line of oak trim running all the way around to here these are part of the same system so the metal chunks that get sieved from there end up here they flow through both of these hoppers through this cooker here which you can see is cooking away we've still got a reasonable amount of stuff and it flows out into this chest here which doesn't need to be this big anymore so we can get rid of that now i know i could probably go straight straight from there into the um item pipe but this way you know, there's, uh, there's a chest here which if i had stuff in my inventory that I knew had a space in the draw system, I could just drop it into a chest. Yeah, so that's all all automated. Um, and I've got a space in the wall for the automated output of all the stuff. I've also just put like tacks and treated wood and clear glass in the drawers because we were running out of space down here. And that stuff I've made a reasonable amount of. So I've put another um, furnace here. It's just getting automatic feeding from the charcoal. And that's just for when I want to cook stuff. Because this thing is now automatically outputting into the draw system, I suspect if an item goes through there that doesn't have space for the draw system, it's going to end up in a random place. I've deliberately left these ones unlocked. So any item which enters the system that doesn't have a locked position will end up in one of those but this way you know if I'm cooking like purified water I can throw it in there pick it out myself need to eat uh, protein is still the lowest just trying to get those levels up all right so uh, on with the quests I, I guess so slaving for you i will do um off camera it's essentially making another draw unit it'll, it'll be useful for when i run out of sides on that because as it said you can place it anywhere in the um, in the draw system up to like eight away from that and it gives you a, an extra input point so that will be useful it'll be like get, it, it'll give another five input points essentially So let's run through these then. All right, satchels. Satchels can be placed in your inventory for storage on the go. Make enough leather to craft the starting satchel. Tip, you can't create your own nether portals, but they can be found in circular temples along the ocean floor. Consider using a boat on the water, on the water surface to find one if it isn't in range. Okay. Ah, that's because that's I need to make flame string. Somewhat more durable than string drop from heat scar nether spiders okay so eight leather i can make easy enough because i've got plenty of um plenty of rat pelt let me add that to my list let me uh item pipes i might want to make more of i'm not going to make another draw controller anytime soon Let's just clear this out. All right, so it is just four pelts in normal crafting. There we go, 12 leather. But we need the flame string, and I think there wasn't any recipe for this. Okay, so I think let's let's hmm, nether spiders. Do I want to go do that? Well, yep. Yeah, let's give it a go. Right. So let's dump stuff that I don't need on me. We'll bring the food. We might need the torches steel axe is almost gone oh, 
I was going over there for iron. <laughs> right. Uh, one, two, three iron. Two sticks. Right. Um, I appear to have put away all of my arrows, so let's get a stack. I could do with a sword, really, couldn't I? All right, we'll take the hearthstone. All right, right click and hold to activate. Keep on the hotbar for additional plus two warming for the stated time in the tooltip. Right click and hold to activate. Right, so if we take two of them and leave that there, I suggested having a boat. But I think there's a round temp a uh, round temple in range. Didn't we see one out of one of these windows? That looks nethery. Circular temples along the ocean floor. Let's give it a go. I might run out of oxygen. Sorry if it's a bit dark. Will the torch trick work in this version of Minecraft? Yes, it will. Although it didn't stay long enough. Oh! Where's the way in? I'm running out of air now. Swimming up. I'm not sure how far away the surface is. Oh, I'm drowning a lot quicker than I was expecting. No, no. Oh, I drowned. Okay, sorry. I'll wait for the world to load. Yeah, it, you don't lose lose your equipment, but it does all take a lot of a lot of durability. Okay, so that was um that was fail uh, that was failing. So we're not doing that until we get more um. We're not going to do that until we get more um, more of the diving. I think we might have to do diving in before we can go further with that. Let's see whether or not we can get any of these done. Until you have access to teleportation later, the safest way to traverse short to medium distances in the water is by using viaducts. Viaducts are player transportation tubes. Chain one location to another with viaducts, click on one end, and it will quickly suck you through the pipe to the other. Great for getting up to your farm or down to your quarry. Hmm. I'm supposed to have a farm? Bronze ingots and glass. Quite expensive in bronze, but you do get 16 of them. Alright, copper and tin in the chemist's workshop. And I need 32 which is two lots of these. Twelve. I need enough to make twelve. So twelve tin, twenty-four copper. Right, 
Right, I'll see you once I've ground this out. Here we go, lots of bronze. Oh, run out of beakers. Okay, that's 24 bronze blender. I'll throw it in this one. That way I can grab it. Right. What else will it need? Some type of glass. I've got plenty of that. I assume a stack of that will do. Does it require anything, any liquids? Nope, it's just the blacksmith's workshop and some hammers. Which we're running a little low on, but we do, do still have a spare. Right. So, one. Should be enough for the quest. 32, complete. All right, we get ourselves a treasure chest. Uh, which is just full of money, and not much money at that either. Blug. I mean, I get money from my sieving. We've got 80 in there. Oh, well. Right, what's this? Uh, you have to soak your viaducts in creosote to slicken their polymer shells. Toss eight viaducts into a bucket worth of creosote to get the job done. Okay. So I need four buckets of creosote. Golden bucket, some slabs. Oh, I haven't fixed that hole in the floor. Should probably do that. Oh, hang on. No, I want full four. Four buckets worth of that. Start that cooking. Four spaces, and I'm going to need charcoal. to make the lumps. Right, so I'm going to throw this stuff in in piles of eight. There we go. Right. Did I miss? Can I do this? Yes, I can. It's probably easier if I do it this way. Last pile. Okay, so a little, a little annoying to have to do that because I still don't have any automatic way to make creosote. I mean, I, I could automate it. I'd have to make another furnace and stuff. Um, you have to soak your viaducts in creosote. Okay. Let's so get some more drawers. What's this final thing? Simply right-click on any portion of the viaduct with a compatible wrench to make an entrance and exit point. Click with your hand to open the config GUI where you must set a name for entry point. Be aware that these are not good for very long-range transport, as chunk loading becomes a problem. Okay, so you can use them up and down very easily, but if you go too far left and right, it becomes an issue. And you just want three iron and a bit of tin. Which one's tin? This is a bit of a problem I've got, is that... It doesn't identify what stuff is. All 
Right, so we've got 32. That's not enough to make it to the seafloor, I don't think. The seafloor was at Y12, wasn't it? And here we are at a Y of 75. Yeah, I would need like 60. But as an experiment... We do that. That makes an entrance. I will call that main. Uh, hmm. I had to press escape to get get out of there. And if we put a level here. We'll call you basement. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, so um, off camera, I'll make a whole load more of these, and we'll use this to go up and down to the mine I made there. And I may even continue it through the roof and get something up at the, uh, get something up at the surface. Grain, protein, fruit, and dairy are all low now. Oh, okay. I get another treasure chest. A couple of iron excavators. A self-resetting lever. Interesting. Hmm, what a useful little gadget. Self-resetting levers. Oh, you can't actually make them. You can only get them from loot bags. Put, put that away somewhere safe. Alright, so we can't do that one until we go to the nether, and we can't go to the nether until we get proper diving equipment. Okay, so what's Easy Storage? Oh, Easy Storage is an early game option for organizing your resources. It is very limited in functionality and cumbersome in size, but it will suffice until you progress into applied energistics options later on. Oh, and it's going to give me a potion of fire resistance. That'll be useful for when I go to the nether. Alright, I need to make one blank box. Uh, metal fasteners I've got. Camomite plate is made from a raw camon a raw camon camonite a raw camonite plate, which is made from camonite blend. Okay, which is just clay and sand, which is a reason why I have to save some sand. Now I might have some camonite blend. Yes, because I didn't turn it all into the adhesive. So, just two next to each other in the blacksmith's workshop, and I need, one, two, three, I need eight. Right, cook up the plate. And I need four fasteners. I'm actually making enough for two of these, so let's get the fasteners for that. I'm sure whatever this is, having two of them will be a good thing. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. 
My brain's not fully awake today, I'm afraid. Trader's Workshop. Oh, I'm missing a liquid, aren't I? Creosote oil. Right, I currently have a bucket and a bit's worth of purified water in there. I'm looking for the pipette. The pipette is something that lets me take out less than a bucket's worth of liquid. There it is. Right, so now I've got to put some creosote in there. Well, that's, that's the purified water I'm going to need. No, no, I've already got the purified water. Durr, I don't have to cook it. Just got to turn that charcoal into another chunk. There we go. Two blank boxes. Gets me a potion of fire resistance. Let's get that out of there before I accidentally drink it. Right, a storage core. Each easy storage system requires a storage core. This will hold the status of your inventory inside of itself. It can only be moved properly using a dolly to maintain its contents. All right, but you're gonna give me a dolly when I make one. So a storage core is, I need more of those chamomile plates that I just wasted on a blank. Signalum gear. Okay, wiring kits I know how to make. Signalum gears though. Need signalum ingots. Okay, the rat can make it out of signalum blend. Copper, silver, and redstone. Okay, that I can do. Um, I will be back when I've got this back, uh, when I've got this stuff together, assuming I've got time. I've got very little time today to record, but I wanted to get something done. Right, so I've got my signal and gears. I've made my two wiring kits. Now, what did... Um, I still need eight chamomite blend. Uh, eight chamomite plates. I think I've got everything I need. Uh, missing four tin tacks. Or four tacks. That's easy enough. I made a load of spares. Alright, one storage core. Thank you. And there's the dolly, which means I can move it after I've put it down. Right, increasing your capacity will leave. Let's see if we've got time to quickly do searching your system. It's going to depend what it needs, though. Although you can't perform tasks such as crafting or sorting, you can search through your system if you attach the search box upgrade. All pieces of your system must be touching each other. Use blank boxes to create a link if necessary. Oh, so that's what blank boxes are used for. Maybe I shouldn't have made two of them. Search box... Okay, uh, redstone reception coils and more signal and plate. I don't think I've got time to do this. All right, this looks like it's a multi-block thing. And I might want to use it to store, like, all the little individual bits and pieces, like stuff I craft and so on. So I'm going to pop this down here. And if necessary, we can expand it down into the basement so right, if i put you there right it is just a place i can put stuff although shift click doesn't work zero of zero oh you have to do the expansion it doesn't come with any storage the storage boxes increase the capacity of your system each storage box attached to your system increases its capacity by Two and a half thousand. Only one type of storage box can be crafted, but high capacity versions can be found in underwater dungeons. 
Okay, this I can make pretty quickly. So let's get this done. Four Tintax, another eight Camomite blend. The only thing I might lack is the creosote. Yeah, it's going to take another half bucket. Oh no, I've got half a bucket in there. That's good. Let's make sure we claim f plus five levels of experience. Hmm. Oh, which it just which it just gave me. Okay, so this has to be attached, but I see no reason why it can't be underneath. Let's go patch that hole before I lose a rat through it. Yep, so now we have storage in here, which is good. So I can use it to get rid of these chests here, I think. Is there any reason not to just dump my inventory? Right, so stuff that's got elsewhere to live or I'm going to want on me, then I'm not going to want to do that. And I think things like potions and stuff, um, equipment I'll need for adventuring, I think I'll put over by the bed. But I can suck all this stuff away now into here. Ah, I do have some redstone coils and stuff. And once I make that search block, then whatever it is I'm looking for, I can just search for it. Which is good. All right. I will do that in the next episode. I, um, sorry, I'll do that in between episodes. I'll do searching your system, which is making that. And, oops, accessing your items. The access terminal is your interface to pull and place items in your inventory. It is limited in functionality in comparison to higher tech options such as applied energistics. No, no, okay, I can take stuff out of here. <laughs> Had me worried there that I needed that in order to take anything in or out. And I've just dumped everything in. So, I will get that done. And I might just make a slaving for you. But then I think in the next episode we're going to have to go into diving in. Because if I'm going to make it to the nether, I need to be able to breathe underwater a little better than I currently am. So, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.